We can keep talking about the IRA, actually. Cool. Because another portion of the IRA was the expansion of the IRS. Yes. The IRA added a lot more funding to the IRS. I think it was around $60 billion over a 10-year time span. I thought it was 80. 80. It might be 60. I, I, you know why I heard the 60? might be down to 60 now. Yeah. yeah. The So 80 to $60 billion of IRS funding going, uh, going into the IRS, going after the tax police, specifically for the goal of revamping their ability to audit high income earners so high earners so throughout the history of the irs they have been especially over the last two decades they've been unable to go after the richest people in the country for tax evasion specifically because it's just harder to do it it's way easier to hire low skilled um, people into the irs and then go after people who wrongfully claim the earned income tax credit and hurt the most vulnerable people in our community than it is to fully fund the irs hire more sophisticated uh and analysts and then go after the millionaires and billionaires who cheat the tax system yeah but now for the first time in a long time the irs is given the teeth to actually fight back so the nation's millionaires and billionaires are evading more than $150 billion a year in taxes. That is from the IRS projection estimate. So $150 billion a year is being evaded. And that's what the IRS needs to start getting and cutting into. What are you thinking about? I'm just thinking that's like, what, that's like 3% um, of our of our government revenue on average? No, no, no. So $150 billion a year, that would be the equivalent of 20% of our military budget. Of our military budget, but that's not our government revenue. Our government re- revenue. Also, I think I think it's less than twenty percent. No, one fifty times five is seven fifty. We we just spent like eight eighty. You're right. You're so, right. So so it's like it's like fifteen. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I'm gonna look up this number. The just government to, revenue. It's yeah. definitely over one trillion dollars, bro. It's definitely. It's not one. It's not. No, I know. Okay. That's why I said it. One fifty is like three percent. Oh, I thought you said thirty. No, I no, was no. like, what? okay, in 2023, the federal government collected 4.44 trillion. So 1.15 over 4.44. Yeah, 3%. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. Let's that's go. crazy. That's nuts. Okay, that's insane. <laughs> so we're losing out on 3% of our overall government revenue. Which doesn't sound a lot, but is that's a, a lot. lot of money. That is so much. <laughs> yeah, that is so much. Yeah. So, um, Audits of taxpayers making more than $1 million a year fell by more than 80% over the last decade. This is because the IRS wasn't getting the funding that it needed. Well, the IRS is already stacking up a lot of successes on this front. The agency identified 1,600 millionaire taxpayers who have failed to pay at least $250,000 each in assessed taxes. So this means that the IRS has collected more than $480 million from this group of only 1,600 individuals, and they're only going to keep going. That's so few. I know. It's so few, and they're able to get 480 million bucks out of them. Yeah. I'm so interested. All from evaded taxes, not even from raising them. Yeah. And of course, a big part of this funding has gone to just hiring more qualified IRS Mm -hmm. agents, but I'm also really curious what role is technology well that's ai a, playing i'm in so this, glad right? you said that because the, the the director actually specifically mentioned ai yeah as one of the reasons that they're able to capture these types of improper transactions that's and then awesome. use ai to understand different you know tax patterns right that's and then cool. go after those people based around that yeah but they needed the money to develop those ai mechanics yeah right yeah so that it's awesome now what is the irs doing the irs is bringing the hammer down on the ultra wealthy when they abuse tax breaks for corporate jets. This is the one thing Mm. that they're going after specifically in this tax season. They're going to go after hardcore. So um, there are about 50 audits that are taking place this spring, and they're going to target people who use private jets and then write them off for business purposes. They are starting off by going after the corporations themselves, but the IRS commissioner, Danny Werfel, has indicated that they're prepared to go after the individuals if they need to. So they're going to go really hard at these people who are abusing the private jet write-offs. So the agency has developed a database of corporate jet activity, and this will help them identify where they should audit. This is a good example of them implementing new technological solutions to help them keep track of stuff like this. The fact that they don't have this database yet says something. There's only so many individuals who are charting private jet for business purposes, right? And we don't even have a database of them yet to make sure that they're paying their taxes right. 
now it's going to change. Mm -hmm. So the Treasury Department said last week it estimates greater IRS enforcement will, will result in an additional $561 billion in tax revenue over the 10-year time frame. So just to make everyone aware, we spent $80 billion to fund the IRS, and we're expecting to make back $560 billion. It's just a good investment. Just a good investment. Yeah. It pays for itself. Totally.